how does Calignite Hypervisor work? So Calignite Hypervisor uses Linux from Red Hat mm -hmm. and the Calignite components from Cal and uh, installs that first on an ATM. And inside that Linux environment, we also create a virtual machine in which we install Windows 10. Not just Windows 10, but all of the ATM software stack that the bank calls mm -hmm. for. Now, the amazing thing is, in all of the testing that we've done, it doesn't really matter what software you're talking about. It just runs inside that Windows 10 virtual machine as if it was running just on the native hardware. And the reason that happens is because of this amazing technology called hypervisors. And all of that works because of technology called virtualization, which is built into uh, the motherboard, into the CPU, into the operating systems, and it just works brilliantly. But the bottom line is, it doesn't matter how complicated the software is that you got in a Windows 10 environment, mm -hmm. it'll run in the hypervisor as if it wasn't there. Now, one of the things you might think is, well, have you ever seen hypervisors or heard of hypervisors somewhere else? Well, you have, because every data center in the world does exactly that. Think about when you create a piece of software that you want to run in a data center, you never run that data center software, that application on hardware directly. It's always virtualized. It always runs in a virtualized environment. So this concept or the technology called hypervisor technology has been used in data centers forever. And you never need to think about, you know, did I integrate with that hypervisor? Did I integrate with the, with the you know, different technologies like VMware or Red Hat? Did I do that? No, you don't. You just develop the software on a normal PC, you install it and it just works. So what's special about what we're doing now is instead of running that ATM software in a data center, because that's not what we want, we want to run it on the ATM, we run it on the ATM. But that technology that grew up in data centers called virtualization, we put that inside the ATM and that just works. 